Sit. All right, all right, bro. What's your name is? Stefan. Stefan. All right. Sit. Uh, what's your name? Ty. 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 So, see, you, had, you had said a whole lot right there. Now, I want you to repeat what you said. Come, come a little closer. Now, you had told me that you said your God, right? Your, your belief. Your belief is that God is a woman, right? But where did you hear that from? Or, or, or that's your uh, that's your belief. You you, you created his or her image. Okay. All right. So okay. Now I want you. To, I want you to listen to his sis. Listen to this. Watch this. All right. Because you know we're trying to get we're trying to get you to understand. It. All right. Because you know we don't want you to go on. You know and believing in that. Right. Okay. That, but that's your belief. But we are gonna. You you said you didn't believe in the Bible. Either. Right? But watch this. Come on, sis. Well, I don't believe in it. I told you that. And you said you, said you believe, believe in some of the principles in the Bible. Some, right? some, yeah, some of yeah, the principles. Yeah, but not the literal stories or, you know, people. Okay. All right. Okay, we got you. Watch this. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Bring it up. The Lord is a man. See what, see what I'm saying? They say the Lord is a man. Now, see, now you got to apply these principles, okay? So, your belief saying that God is a woman, but the Bible is read clearly state it says what? Read it again. The Lord is a man of war. The, the, the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. Okay. Cause see, society and and what we was taught that you know that, that God loves and He don't hate. You know, it's all peaches and cream. No. The scripture just said God is a man of war. So you, like that, like these rumors of wars going on right now. Who you think did that? Who you think putting that stuff in place? Huh? Get out. See what I'm saying? I got a question. What's your name again? Tom. What's your name, bro? You been here for a minute. And hey, we appreciate you being here, bro, because not everybody can stand and listen to the word of God come out in truth for the long, for as long as you've been. How you doing, sister? Great. So, Sister Ty, real quick, I got a question. Where did you learn the doctrine of, when, when did you start accepting the doctrine of God being, or applying the principles of the Bible to God being a woman? I've been raised in an African-centered community. African so it's community. like, we just apply to Okay, so let me ask you, would it be referenced or could the community that you grew up in, did they deal with the New Wabian doctrine? Have you ever heard of the New Wabians? Okay, because within the New Wabian doctrine, it is taught that uh, the woman is God, that she is the most high God because she gives birth. I understand? But according to nature, that's not true. According to the Bible, that's not true. But according to nature, it's not true. What we had to understand is that a lot of the doctrine growing up, we when we was coming up, a lot of the doctrines that we've been given, all of the doctrines that we've been given have been falsehoods, lies, myths, and different philosophies put together by man. Right. Why? To deceive the chosen people of the Most High God because this is who we are. Right. Under the doctrine that you currently follow, what would you say your nationality is? You're an African of the United States of America. I'm African, African in the United States. African in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. All right, so that means you have some African history, right? All right, so let me ask you this. When we look at the the, the continent that is known as Africa today, how did it get sick? How did it become known as Africa? Because when we say we're Africans, we must at least understand the, the, the science or the philosophy from which we get our our names from so when we say we're african referencing the land of africa where did we get where did that because it wasn't always named africa so where did it get that name huh that's the, that's the point that land is known as the land of ham all right the, the land of ham it only got the name africa after Leo Scipio Africanus conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic War. Right. Right. When, he conquered him, when he conquered Hannibal, who was an Israelite from the tribe of Asher, 
When he conquered him, he changed the name of the continent to his last name, Africanus. Thus, today you have the name Africa. Right. So when we say we come from Africa or that we're Africa, we're saying that we come from the sperm or the seed of Leo Scipio Africanus, who was a white man. Yep. This white man conquered a so-called black man and took the continent and named it after himself. Likewise with America. When we say that we're American, we're saying that we come from the seed or the sperm of Amerigo Vespucci, who was another white man that came here long before Columbus got here. That's why America is named after Amerigo Vespucci. Right. Thus we have the name African American, which in essence is no name at all. These are two white men who conquered two land masses and put their name on the continent and we're the only people on the earth that walk around calling ourselves after two men instead of the name that God gave us. Right. All right, now, read that. Psalms chapter 49, verse 11. This is it because the Bible, this is our history. This is our book. Our forefathers wrote this so that we could remember who we are. Read. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Their inward thought, the people that are in power, the so-called white man who is in power today, his inward thought is that what? That their houses shall continue forever. That their houses, their homes, their businesses, that their establishments will last forever. Come on. And their dwelling places. And their what? Dwelling places. The places that they dwell on the earth, the land masses that they conquer throughout the earth. Come on. To all generations. Read. They shall call their lands after their own name. They shall do what? Call their lands. They shall call their lands. After their own name. Thus you have the land of Africa named after Leo Scipio Africanus. You have America named after Amerigo Vespucci. Right. You ride down the street and you see, we look see a sign right here, we see Blandon Street. I guarantee you, Blandon Street is the name of some so-called white man who owned this land. Right. Who owned this area. Yep. The streets that you see lying on this, the, the places that we travel, they name their streets after them. Right. They name everything after themselves. They conquer us, they take it, and claim it as theirs, like this traffic light. Who made this traffic light? A black man made it. But is that black man and his family earning a residual income from that traffic light? No. Yeah. So what we're saying is, and showing you that the Bible has our history, and the Bible proves that God himself is a man. Read that. Psalms chapter 100, verse 1. Bring it out. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Come all on. ye land. Uh -huh. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come before what? Come before his presence uh -huh. with singing. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. The what? That the Lord, he is God. Come on. It is he. It is what? He uh -huh. that have made us and not we ourselves. What? what? We are his. We are what? His Come on. people and the sheep of his. His what? His uh -huh. pasture. Come on. Into into his gates. His what? His gates. Come on. With thanksgiving. Uh huh. And into his courts. Into what? His courts. Come on. With praise. Be thankful unto him. What? Be thankful unto him. See, what the Nuwabian doctrine teaches, and I'm not. I don't know the whole scientific breakdown that they got, but it's also within the five percent nation too that over the last few years they've been teaching that woman is God because woman gives birth to the child. She brings forth the life. You know? Well, I got a question: What woman ever in the history of man being on the earth has ever brought forth a child without the sperm of a man? That's yeah. right. You know. There is none. There is no woman on the earth ever, ever recorded in the history, ever recorded. If the woman was God, right? If the woman was God, the almighty God, past the, the second heavens, way up in the third heavens, she could just give birth. Like she could just sit up there and boop, pop babies out and let babies fall to the earth. Bring it up. But we don't see that happening. We don't see women today not having children after they've laid and had sex and a man has fertilized the egg within her womb. That doesn't happen. The most high God is a man. Read that. Read this real quick. I'm gonna ask that question. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. 
Look it out. For the man is not of the woman. Come on. But the woman of the man. Why? Because the most high God, who is a man, he created man first. Three. Right. Neither was the man created for the woman. And the one the man, he wasn't created for the woman. He was created first. His job was to be the king, ruler of the earth. His job was to be a provider and to be a, 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 a servant to the most high God and rule over the earth as God gave him the authority to do. Read. But the woman for the man. But the woman, she was made for the man. That's why it's written in, in Genesis that the man shouldn't, he shouldn't be alone. So God made for him a help me. Now, we had to go over this last week. This is not to destroy the the character or the role that a woman must play because you are a very important princess on this earth. Right, right, Without right. you, we can't bring forth God. See, Without that's right. you, we can't bring forth kings. Bring I cannot out. go lay with another man and bring forth another God on this earth. Bring it out. It takes a woman for me to put my, my, my sperm in to fertilize the egg so that a child, so that life is given. So your role on the earth is a very important role. Right. Right? Right. You're not equal to the man, but you're just as important as the man because you're a, necess you're a necessity to him to continue bringing forth life on this earth. Right. right. Get that in what? That was Luke chapter 11, verse 27. Yeah, because yeah. this doctrine that the five percenters, and I know I was a five percenter for 17 years. This new doctrine within the five percent nation is destroying our women's minds. Right. It's destroying our youth's mind because it's being taught that the woman is God. The woman is not God. The woman is the, is the help me to the God. Right. Read that. Luke chapter 11 verse 27. Bring it up. And it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman. A certain what? Woman. Come on. Of the company lifted up her voice and said unto what, him. What did the woman say? Blessed is the womb that bear thee. You see that now? We're going to read all the way down, but this woman said what? Blessed is the womb that bears thee. The woman said, blessed is the womb that bears thee. Come on. And the paps which thou hast sucked. And the paps which thou hast sucked. Come on. But he said. But he, Christ, Christ, Christ said. What? What did Christ say? Yea, rather. Yea, rather. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. He said, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Not right, blessed right. is the wound of the woman or blessed is the paps that I suck that brought me up. Blessed is the person that hears the word of God and keep it. What right. y'all are hearing today is the word of God. Right, Working right. Working in truth. Our pastors have not taught us this. Our churches have failed us. Right. My mama has failed us. Grandmama has failed us. Teachers have failed us. Society has failed us. Why? Right. Because of the curses that God put on the Israelites who are his chosen people. Dude. That's who we are. We got to realize that why are we the only ones in this current state here on the earth? Why is why is our plight so heavily uh, present all over the earth? In no, matter, no matter where you go on the earth, you find the condition of your people. Right. You go to Baltimore, you'll find the same condition. You go to Atlanta, you go to Georgia, you go, you go anywhere on the earth, you'll find your people in the lowest condition on the earth. Why? That's right. Why? 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 That is the question. You've been standing here for too long not to know why. I don't know. I have my personal opinion and there's other opinions, you know? Okay, well, so, what's your personal opinion? All right. I feel like we're being punished because we're not yeah, doing a rule that, like, you know, doing rules or whatever. Right. That's what I feel like. Well, yes, we are being punished. What would you say? Why are your people on the bottom? Last high, first five, can't stand each other. Why are we yeah. like this? No idea? What is your idea? I mean, if I tell you, you're going to always tell me. I'm going to tell you what God said. I'm going to tell you what God said. Yeah, read that right there. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Bring it up. Yeah. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord. Come on. That take counsel, but not of me. You hear that? We all we take counsel from the Nuwabians, the five percenters, uh Trump. We take counsel from we take counsel from all these other entities, but not of the Bible. This Bible right here is, you know what it, you know what it is? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Hold on. Don't read that. But the problem is, we've been taught that the white man wrote this book. You ever heard that? 
Have you ever heard that the white man wrote this book? That this is a white man's book? Well, if this is a white man's book, the white man's history is recorded in here right along with yours. This book records your history, your history, our history, and it records the so-called white man's history and his future plight. It records his future. His future, according to this Bible, is destruction. Right. Now, if he wrote this book, would he really put his destruction in the book? Read it out. What he put in the book, if I write a book, I'm writing this book, I want this book that everybody to follow. I'm gonna tell you all the bad stuff about yourself, but I'm gonna still put in the book that you're gonna end up conquering me. Would I do that? If I wanted you to believe that you're a slave and that you would never have rule and power, and I put in a book for you to learn about it, would I also put in the same book how you, the slave, is going to overpower and destroy me? Would I do that? Bring it out. That'll make sense, now do it. Give me revelations, what you got right there? Yeah, let me get that, get revelations real quick. Hold on, hold on. Bring it out! Captain How you doing, sis? Good, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Today the yes, Sabbath you are. day, we teach you guys, every teacher, yes, it's a good are. day. Yes, you are. Got. We're gonna see, if I was to, if I was to capture you all and put you in captivity, would I put this in the book? Read. Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Bring it out! He, that leadeth into captivity. The Bible says, give me the fly. The Bible says, he that leadeth into captivity. That, that one right there. What is captivity? This right here is captivity. Hey, right. Right. The Bible says, he that does this, he that leadeth into captivity, shall go into captivity. Now, if I was the well so called white man and I wrote this Bible, what I put in the Bible, when I know damn well I led you and your people into captivity. I know I did this. What I also put in the Bible, if I lead you into captivity, I'm going to go into captivity. You know. Would I do that? That don't make no sense. Why would I tell you that you're going to put me in captivity when they will be in captivity? Go down there. Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. Come on. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Who is Jacob? That is the question. We read this Bible and we have no understanding. That's because we don't know our role. We don't know the characters. We can't see ourselves in the Bible because we have been taught that this is a white man's book. Right. This is your book. This right. is your heritage. Right. Read it again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is the children of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He had 12 sons. We are descendants of those 12 sunders. Right. Judah, right. Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Nathali, and scattered all over the planet Earth. This right. is who we are. But in this country, we're taught that, oh, you just black? Oh, you African American? You nigga, coon, spick, Puerto Rican? Jamaican. Teach. That is not who we are. Right. God says that we are his chosen people. Right. That we are the rightful owners of the earth. Yeah. But because he gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to keep, he punished us just like you would punish your children if they disobeyed the laws in your house. Right. Right. Let's read it again. But the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Yet in this captivity, the Lord is still going to have mercy on his chosen people, Jacob, the children of Israel. Read. Right. And will yet choose Israel. He will yet choose Israel after all the atrocities that he's put us through. After all the murders. After all the raping. After all the lies we've been taught in this country. He will yet choose Israel. Come on. And set them in their own land. We're going to leave this land. That's why it's imperative that you know, sister, you are a princess. That you come from the tribe of Judah. That right. you must keep God's commandments. Because you're going to leave this land once you start keeping God's laws. You're going to leave this land once you start applying God's laws to your, to your life. When the chariots come and Lord's will, I ran in America go to war and World War III is declared on this earth. You're gonna see the sky crack and the chariots come back and redeem the children of Israel. That's right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Who are these strangers that are gonna be joined with you? Who are these strangers that are gonna be joined with the house of Israel? Bring it out. Bring it out. That is your so-called white man. That is your so-called Japanese man. That is your so-called who else? Oh, Af Africans, all of these other nations that are not your people who hate your guts, they are the strangers. The same strangers that came out of Egypt with you when they cleaved to, your, to us running out of Egypt. When Mosai God destroyed Egypt, they said, oh snap, 
they have a God. Right. I want to be with them. I'm trying to be on their side. Right. Like the Edomite said at work to uh, Elisha the other day. When it, when it goes down, he know what's going on. He said when it goes down, I want to be with Elisha and his brothers. They're going to be all right. You know yeah. Because he knows what they've done to our people in this country. Right. They know what's going to happen. America will fall just like Babylon fell before. Right. Just like all the other empires fell before. It's going to fall again. Under right. the most high God and his son Christ. That's right. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. These other nations, they're going to want to cleave to you, sister. When you step back in your glory. When you step back into who you are, the real living princess on this planet Earth, right. put on that glorious dress, wear that glorious hair. Right. They are gonna cleave to you. They're gonna beg you to take them, to take you with them, for them to come with you. They're gonna want, be, they're gonna want nothing else on this Earth but to bow down and to kiss your feet. Right. right. And the people. And what? And the people. Come on. Shall take them. The people is Israel. We're gonna take them. We are going to take these heathens that are going to cleave to us, come on. And bring them to their own. We're going to take them to our own land. Where is our homeland? It's not the motherland that we call Africa. Bring it up. It is within the continent of Africa. But everybody think, uh, if I say, if I say, uh, brother Stefan, Stefan, right? What's the homeland? What's your homeland? Yeah, yeah okay. From this, what would you say your homeland is? Okay, that would be your nationality. You would be uh, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's your nationality. Now, where is your homeland? Bring it out. Teach. Yo, where is your natural homeland given to you by God? Where is your people originally from? Jamaica? What would you say? Nigeria? Emphatically wrong and emphatically wrong. That's what we've been taught. We've been taught that our homeland is the land that we that, that either we're in or the, the current lands that we come from. The current lands that we come from now are not our is not our native land. Let's find out what the Bible says our native land is. Bring it out. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. Where is Jerusalem? Bring it out. Where's Jerusalem? It's in the northern part of Africa. It's in the northern part. So now, sister, you gotta start questioning yourself. Well, if Jerusalem is in the northern part, and the Bible is saying what? But Jerusalem, uh -huh. which is above is free, uh -huh. which is the mother of us all. If the Bible says Jerusalem is the mother of us all, and we know that Jerusalem is in the northern part of the continent Africa, how did we get in the, what would that be, the southern part? Down in the Africa. How did, that, how did that happen? Why did we, if Jerusalem is the motherland, why did we go from Jerusalem down into Africa? Dude, how did we do that? We did what? We disobeyed and what happened? We were punished and what happened in that point? You're right. But what happened to cause this punishment besides, uh, besides us not doing the laws? We didn't do the laws. We got punished. Then what happened? Let's find out what the Bible says. All the answers are right here in the Bible. Read that, you got it? Chapter 21, verse 20. This is out. what happened. This is how we left Jerusalem. This is why we left Jerusalem and ended up in the other inner parts of Africa. Read. And when ye shall see Jerusalem. See what? Jerusalem. Which is in the northern part of the continent Africa. Come on. Compares with others. You won't have to hold that sign, bro. When you see what? When ye shall see Jerusalem. Come on. Compassed with earth. So Jerusalem, the land that we dwelt, our motherland, it got compassed with an army. What army? Whose army? Where did that army come from? It wasn't our army. Let's find out. We. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. Christ said when you see Jerusalem compassed with this army, the Roman army, then you better know that the destruction is time. It's time for the destruction of Jerusalem. Come on. Then. Let them which are in Jerusalem flee to the mount. It says now then, get that in, uh, get Matthew. It says now and then, ye that are in Judea flee unto the mountains. So if we look at a map, we see Jerusalem in the northern parts of this continent. Take very good notes right here, mental notes, because you ain't got no paper. 
because you will never hear this truth come out in one of these churches. Right. You're gonna find out why we call ourselves African American right, right now. Yeah. Jerusalem is in the northern part of Africa, correct? Now read it, read that, go back and read it again. He said, What? Now no. Then let them which is out which are in Jerusalem in Judea flee to the mountains. So he says, if you're in Judea, Jerusalem, flee to the mountains. What are the mountains considered if you're in the northern part of Jerusalem? Yeah. Put a map at. Right there. Inside. Inside. That one right there. Let's look at this thing. Jerusalem is over here, is up, up in this area over here. So now, so where is this? What's this? This Africa? This is land of Ham. So Jerusalem will be in the northern part, over, over here somewhere. So read it again. Because your church ain't finna get no diagram and ain't finna come and show you why we call ourselves African American. They ain't gonna do it. Read it again. Luke chapter 21 verse 21. Bring it out. And let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So if we're in Judea, which is in this area right here, and we flee to the mountains, the mountains will be considered a mountainous areas all the way over here. We fleed into all of this. And went, who got a Bab who got Babylon and Timbuktu? Babylon and Timbuktu. Get it and, and, and get and get get the uh the uh page that I want. A fly, a, a what? Yes, that's it right there. Yep, that's it right there. Five minutes, you show something. I'm showing you real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, I'll raise it. Alright, now, read. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So the mountains would be considered the, the, the other other parts of Africa, the mountainous areas of Africa. Why would we flee there? If Jesus was a so-called white man and he was running from uh Herod during this time, if he ran into Africa looking like that, could he hide? Hell no, he couldn't hide. You can find him without, without, without a shadow of a doubt. So yeah. Herod, the mountains in this instance is talking about the same place that the angel told Joseph and Mary to flee in when they had the child, the, the baby Christ. Read that. Right. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Come on. Come on. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph uh -huh. in a dream saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And flee where? Into Egypt. Come on. And be there, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Where is Egypt located at? Africa, which is now you're calling him, right? Good job though, but so Egypt is the same place that we're talking about over in, in Luke when it's talking about the mountains. Read on. Right. Luke chapter 21, verse 21. Bring it out. And let them which are in Judea flee to the mouth, uh -huh. and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. So what he was saying, when that army come around Jerusalem, if you, if you are in Judea, you need to flee in the mountains and don't go back in there. Why? For these be the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance. That all these things which are written may be fulfilled. That what will, that what may be fulfilled? The things that are written all the way back in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 58. When he said that if we don't keep these commandments, all these curses are going to come upon us. Right. So because we did not keep the commandments, when we get over here now, and when Jerusalem is going to pass with his army, and it's about to be destroyed, why? Because we did not follow the commandments. Read. But woe unto them that are with child, uh -huh. and to them that give suck Read. in those days. Come on. For there shall be great distress in the land. There's going to be great death in this land. Come on. And wrath upon this people. And the wrath of God is going to be upon this chosen people. Why? Because we broke the laws. Therefore, this curse, these curses must be fulfilled. Come on. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And we're going to die by the sword of the Romans, our oppressors. Read. And shall be led away. Captain. And shall be what? Led away captive. Come on. Into all nations. Read. And Jerusalem 
shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. It says in Jerusalem, the land of Jerusalem is now going to be trodden down, meaning walked upon by who? Trodden down of the Gentiles. So the people that live in that land right now, they are what? The Gentiles. Right. Because we don't live in our land no more. Now right. we're here in America. Why? Because we was led away captive according to the scripture. Right. right. We ran into Africa. We ran deeper into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution. Right. Read that right there. From Babylon to Timbuktu, page 84. In the year 65 BC, Come on. the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. Uh -huh. With great slaughter. So they did what? They did what? Put, Put an end to the Jewish state. They destroyed Jerusalem. Come on. With great slaughter. Uh huh. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Uh huh. During the period from Pompey to Julius. And it had been estimated that over one million Jews. Over what? One million Jews. Over one million Jews in that land, come on. Fled into Africa. Fled where? Into Africa. This is why we think we're African American. That's because right. we ran right. from Roman persecution deeper into Africa. Right. Come on. Flee from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets. The what? Slave markets. So now that we're in what is known as Africa, it says what? The slave markets. The slave markets in Africa were full of black Jewish slaves. They were what? Full of black Jewish slaves. So the Africans were not selling Africans. They were selling who? You know? They were selling black Jewish slaves. Yes. They were selling your people. Right. 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 Selling your people. Right. You are those right. black Jewish slaves. Right. That's right. how we got here. Come on. And the and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Come on. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Come on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Where is that written at? Because he's reading out of this right now. So where is this where is what he's reading at written in the Bible? Bring it up. What he's reading right now is a biblical, is a biblical verse taken from the Bible out of the book Babylon the Timbuktu, which shows us. That we are those black Jewish slaves that this curse applies to us. Right, right. That's right. That's not right. all yeah. people. The people that are in our land in their land right now, they stole our land. Right. That is our land, that is our home. Right. right. Bring what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 63. Bring it out. Yeah. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Why did that happen to us in Jerusalem? Because we broke God's commandments. Come right. on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Now we're going to serve other gods. Well, we think that the woman is a god. Well, we think that this is Christ, the Son of God. It says that now what? And there, there. shalt thou serve other gods. Now we're serving other gods. Buddha, Krishna, Islam, Christianity, which serves us, which serves under the cross. Read up. Read up. This, this is not our doctrine. Right. Right. Read. Which neither. Thou, no, our fathers have known. Our forefathers never knew these gods. E we we learned the, we learned these gods here in this country. Come right. on, even wood and stone. Even wood, wood under under this image right here, we serve the wood, the cross, and the what? And stone. And the stone, we serve the cobblestone under the Muslims. Why? Where's the image of the uh, uh, Arab taking us into slavery? Why? 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 Because look, King. was hold us, get that back. Was the European or the uh, the uh, Atlantic slave trade was that the first slavery we went into? Once we got it, once we ran into uh, Africa, who enslaved us first? Who did we get sold to first? We got sir, we got sold to the uh, Arab. That was the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. Yeah. That's the that's why we got brothers running around here talking about uh uh Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam, because we served. Captivity under these people. Right. Huh? Oh, the, the longest, right. We was under them the longest under these people, the Arabs. And then, hundreds of years later, come what? The transatlantic slave trade. Right. Well, they come to this land and they try to get our brothers and sisters gagged, proven to cultivate the land, 
but they, they wouldn't do it. So they then they turned and came and got the people that were on the south coast, was on the uh, coast of Africa, who are you Jews? Jeez. That migrated from Jerusalem into that land and then got captured and brought here. Right. You are the Israelites. That's You're right. God's chosen That's people. Right. Right. You're not African American. You're right. not Jamaican. You're not a uh, 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 damn coon, a spick. You're out. the lowest on the bottom earth before a reason. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.